London Diaries vlog this is episode 7 so basically guys I'm tired like this is literally me after my whole birthday vlog the birthday vlog is out it's amazing um it's quite brief because I was just like yeah this year we're gonna be doing weekly and consistent and you can as you can see these are the birthday balloons Mojo and I set up literally like it's still standing strong obviously I cut off like the strings and ribbons because it was falling on my face <laughs> but yeah today i'm going to post office to return my birthday dresses from fashion nova like this year i really want to be saving plus um i just finished with my job interview guys i've been up since 9 30 like i can't believe i got accepted to go to the next stage which was like the assessment day i was like i was so scared i thought i was just gonna be like yeah i'm not gonna hear from them but you know the recruiter loved speaking with me and she was like yeah i only have to do a bit more research and practice more like my code calls but other than that she said that there's potential and the job role is like a training job role which is potential to be promoted so when i heard all this this was so good and like i'm gonna put this into prayer today because i was just like i need to run my errand today then i'm gonna focus on praying setting my goals for the week quick otde i don't know if you guys can see my outfit i'm wearing this set this joggers gray set you know funny enough i'm funny in love with gray but this is from target from the us it's like the cuff joggers and like the hoodie and like it also has like a thumb area as well also if you guys know my birthday nails are gone one thing about me and my nails they're not gonna last i'm trying to make some money this like first quarter so hopefully i do make some money from collabs are like walking but if anything i'm actually looking forward to like my job assessment this week which is on thursday first of february <sighs> but guys enough of the rambling um let's go to the post office so i've decided to kill two birds with one stone which is pretty much just walking to kill one because i'm tracking my exercise every day which is going on walks i have to take at least ten thousand steps per day and I'm gonna do post office, but I also wanna pick up press on nails from Primark, like just natural press on nails that will kind of like I can be wearing to go out. Cause to be very honest, this nails era, <laughs> I don't know. The next time I'm gonna do my nails is probably like in February, March. Think about it, you know. So I'm off for my morning walk. Okay guys, so quick update. I'm literally done with the post office, so I'm still going on my walk. I have my coffee. So basically, um, I don't even know where to start because last week my sister sent me birthday money and I kind of like, used it on my dinner stuff, but there's still money raining from that, so I'm gonna buy myself my gift, even though like the gift would not be there by the time I get to TK Max, but I got myself a coffee posted my outfits back so i could get some money and let's see how the week goes literally walking to kilburn because i'm just like i love having a coffee and going for a walk but the weather seems good today it's not too cold not too hot but yeah see this here so guys i am back from kilburn and i just got my birthday presents from my sister so she got me this cute dune bag it's giving grown it's giving luxury because this 2024 i'm not dulling but i was so productive today you know i woke up 9 30 i had an interview for 10 i went for my walk i got my birthday presents as you can see like i love my siblings a bit i feel like they always know what i like and they always know what to get me gifts from friends too so modoro got me um 
the summer i turned pretty book um it's not summer without you even though i've listened to the audiobooks but i want to get into like my romance novel era that book is literally gonna kick start it because i'm gonna be reading that book for my next trip and also like throughout the time i'm chilling at home and also job searching michelle told me as well that she's gonna get me a gift then um nk got me a gift as well so i'm trying to plan how i'm gonna visit all my friends and grab my gifts from them plus my camera is dying so i will see you guys tomorrow on tuesday bye morning i need to remove all the birthday balloons so that is what i'm currently doing 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 oh my goodness like just waking up and sleeping back is just not it today i'm gonna to be shooting some content i literally wrote a lot of things in my notebook so i'm gonna be like on my desk today just filming b-roll content so just the basic content and then i'm also gonna be filming like outfit videos because i've not done that in a long time <clears throat> right now my throat is really ticklish like i don't know i've been taking medicine and it is what it is but man i'm wearing this dressing gown my auntie got for me for my birthday it's so comfortable it's from max and spencer's and then i have so many balloons to like pop but i'm not gonna pop them because some of them have confetti inside but i will see you all after i've like sorted this room out a bit bye hey guys here's a recap of what i got up to in february while i shared my night routine basically if i'm being honest february was kind of like a slow month for me even though it was a leap year it was very very slow like obviously there were the collaborations both gifted and then also i got a paid collaboration in february which was so amazing like i was so excited um another thing as well was kind of like you know after my birthday i've just been really on this low vibe of like low vibrations yeah that's what i'll literally call it because i don't know how to explain it like i've just been low i've been down i've been bored like when i do one thing i do it and then i get bored again like nothing really has excited me in february except for my paid collab and also um you know doing this job search as well because obviously growing up in an african household like nine to five is so crucial another thing as well was like you know being gifted all these brand deals it's been amazing and so making the content but then again i feel like if i want to get into content full time i really want to work with like brands that will like pay me money to make content and that's what i've been trying to do the whole of february like reaching out to brands hoping that brands will get back to me on like you know what their budget is what their ideal person or content creator will be like for that shoe or that brand and you know i kind of like just wind down like this whole february like initially i wasn't even gonna do anything or even vlog but i just thought you know let me vlog a bit of like what my night routine is like because a lot of people don't really know how i can't like get ready for bed or like lay down or cool my mind down so i thought you know sharing my routine and also kind of like give you guys a quick february recap will kind of make sense but you know hopefully later on in the year good things come and also like i can share good news and good new life updates i feel the exciting things that go on in my life Uh, within YouTube that you can all take it's really quite simple really easy um, and essentially you want to reach new audience For example uh, does anybody know the uh, UK rapper Shado <laughs> coming i know you're in line for food i know you're in line for merch you follow my instructions I okay we're getting there we're getting there i appreciate you all for listening and paying attention for following instructions Hello. Hello, hello, hello everybody. How are we doing? Oh, what was that energy? I'm not even gonna sit 
sit down because I'm not feeling the energy right now. Shape or form, looking to enter the, the media industry, whether as a presenter, as a podcaster, as a beauty influencer, as a fashion influencer, in any capacity, then this conversation is for you. First guest, she's actually a friend of mine, Miss Uche Natori. She is a trailblazing figure. Joyce, I'm going to start with you. Talk to me briefly. <laughs> Talk to me briefly about how you entered the space. God, I was in a job that I really hated. Um, not having to work out so. <laughs> and um, I was doing it full time and I just felt so unfulfilled because I've always been someone who loved to have comment about and I just remember thinking, um, actually it was God that gave me the idea. I was like, we should start a podcast. And um, yeah, from there I just planned and shot my first episode a few weeks later and uh, the rest is history. Woo! Uche, what about yourself? Mine is less exciting. It is such a pleasure to be here. As much as you're a fan of me, I'm a fan of you. What you've built is amazing and you should get all your Thank flowers. You. Thank you YouTube, Shanice, Adam for having me as well. Like, to be seen by our community is Guys, it's been an amazing March. Let me spill the tea, okay? Today, I've been going over my emails and I thought I would share two good news. Okay, so one is a collaboration with HelloFresh. Um, I'm going to insert a clip of what they sent me because they told me to cook a meal and kind of like promote my discount code. So, by the way, or low key, this video is actually sponsored by HelloFresh, but I've already done the collaboration. It's already out. You can check it on TikTok. You can start your food journey, your cooking journey, your meal journey with HelloFresh down in the description box below. All the links and details are there. I was so psyched about this. Like now I can add this to my portfolio and be like, yeah, I've worked with HelloFresh. What are you going to do about it? Nah, don't chat to me, you know. You can't touch me. If you guys don't know, last year, I got to collaborate with um, Copperfield, which was one of the charities that I kind of like support and I like their vision and goals. And this year, they reached out to me. And I don't know how to put this, but I wanted to vlog about it. But at the same time, I feel like you guys will still find out on TikTok and Instagram, but... I am going to vlog about it. I am going to make content about it. But this is their upcoming summer shoot. And... Oh my goodness. Like, my whole body was just so emotional when I got the email. Like, I was literally about to cry. I got invited to be in a photo shoot! Sorry, I got too gassed. I got too excited. But I should be proud of myself because of the journey I've been through. This is a dream. This is not real. I had to check if the company name was on the email. And it was legit, you know? I had to make sure everything was legit and I did my research as well and I was so happy like guys I was so happy I'm so excited like oh my gosh like I'm literally about to cry but like 16 year old me will be so proud me of the age of 16 will be like I never knew I could be that girl and I'm gonna be on website social media billboards ads like me <laughs> god like i'm so excited like i'm literally just here like so emotional because like growing up you know i was literally bullied for being different being like i was bullied for being different i was bullied for my size 
like there's so many barriers I was bullied for and and I stayed strong through all that look at where I am and look at where the haters are I'm so proud of myself I'm so happy because it's a paid photo shoot it's not free and when I got the second email to like send uh, my accounting stuff like my account details and the invoice and everything I was like wow I was like this is real I'm actually doing this and they told me that tomorrow they're gonna send me more details about the shoot like what the day is gonna be like my schedule and I'm just I'm just so happy like I was shocked because and then the third thing is YSL Beauty I got an email from YSL Beauty like YSL that I used to spray the perfume <laughs> shut up nah I'm working with the big brands baby don't play with it don't don't play with Rachel Jack because YSL Beauty they have a new lipstick collection coming out and they want me to try out their products so they're sending me their lip products to try and then um um yeah back to the photo shoot or the photo camp the campaign shoot i'm really excited about that it's literally next week on the 19th i'm even thinking about vlogging a day in the life so you guys can see like bts content behind the scenes obviously i'm not gonna post the video like immediately because there's contracts to sign and things to read over but yeah guys i want to end the vlog here with good news because I've been going over my emails. I'm just so happy to be a content creator. I don't really call myself an influencer because I feel like an influencer is one that makes an impact and brings, um, drives, like brings in sport or kind of like makes people like change their minds. I call myself a content creator because I solely create content. Like I solely create content. And it's a thing where like I make content that is high quality editing like i will sit on my phone for hours editing content i will sit on my laptop editing content and i'm, I'm just so happy <laughs> like guys i'm going to hear crying like i might even cry myself to sleep because i'm so happy about my journey as a creator because starting out in 2019 everyone was just like oh how's your little youtube channel going oh how many subscribers do you have now those are the questions i was hearing and it's the thing where like those people were not even supporting they were always there like talking behind my back even with my makeup journey as well people were just there saying oh you look orange like your makeup your concealer your foundation is not matching your skin tone even when i started wearing wig everyone just said oh your wig is lifting your wig is looking bulky look at where i am now the haters cannot chat to me a lot of people are just obsessed with me and jealous but yeah march so far has been great my dad's coming in next week so i'm so excited for that guys it's been a chaotic messy vlog of a couple of months but you know as i say remember to hit that subscribe button below for more content by yours truly catch me on the next vlog and i'm out peace Oh, you wanna see me so cut, cut.